the driving force uh, behind creating Sojourner Truth was giving parents a voice, giving them a comfortable feeling to come into school, having their children in a place where they could trust the staff and the community that surrounded their staff. So I think that really lent itself well to creating the community that we have now 25 years later. The original vision was that we're in the north side, the north side um, community of Minneapolis and we have a lot of families that were being raised by single mothers and Sojourner Truth was a strong woman figure and so we have a lot of strong single moms at our school and we just wanted to be in a community and work with the children and teach them. I love the, the culture, I love the people. Um, I go to church in North Minneapolis. We have a lot of friends in North Minneapolis and um, I was super excited to get the chance to work with kids in North Minneapolis. School is critical and vital for young people in success. And when young people are successful, that means everybody in the community is successful. Um, and so again, I think when schools are really strong and doing well, and again, they're invested in the community and they're um, really serving the community and their, their students. I think Sojourner Truth should be most proud of just the community that they've built, the stake they've kind of put, that we've put in the ground here in North Minneapolis as a hub for families to come to, for, to educate their students, to feel a part of a broader community. We genuinely care about the people who are in this building. And we want everyone to feel supported. I think that's a big thing, feel supported and that we can do this. We can do this, even though it's hard, we can do it. And we have everything we need right here. We can see our students do better in life and we have a sample, or we have proof of it here when we have teachers that are former students, former scholars of SDA. Miss Jessica, the second grade teacher, was in my kindergarten class and now she has been teaching here for several years and she is being a mentor teacher for a student teacher right now, so that is why I am here. It goes back to your heart. I mean, it's like, those, that's why I come here every day, is for those types of things to happen. Um, to see where these young people are gonna end up someday. And, and many of the kids that were kids in kindergarten are now bringing their children to me, which is really, again, another heartfelt thing. We all work here because we know that all of the scholars have a potential of being something special. And I think that just having that same goal brings us all together. Because people want to feel seen, and even little people. So kids on up to adults just want to feel heard and seen, and without that relationship piece, you're not hearing me or seeing me or talking to me, you're just talking at me. And it, even the smallest child understands what that feels like. My biggest hope for Sojourn Truth is when a student leaves here, that it stays with them for the rest of their life that they'll learn some valuable lessons, uh, whether it's life lessons or reading or math or science or whatever it is, um, and that they will bring that to their community. We're greater than we've ever been, and next year we'll be greater than we are this year. And that is the intention, every year to just be greater. What's next for Sojourner Truth in our future is that we continue to build bridges with the community around us. I think the future is super bright, and we're just excited about serving the broader community of North Minneapolis.